All right, everyone. So today I'm going to do an overview of a free maintenance program for Mac OS X called Onyx. And the easiest way to get a copy of this is to do a Google search for Onyx OS X. And clicking on the second link that comes up, it'll take you to Titanium Software's download page. And here they have versions available for Leopard, Tiger, Panther, and even Jaguar. Now, it's important that you download the version that's appropriate for your copy of OS X. And the reason why is because this program can perform certain low-level maintenance scripts and tasks. And you just want to make sure you have the most compatible version for your release of the operating system. Now, the first time you uh, open up and run Onyx, it's going to ask you a couple of questions such as checking the smart status of your hard drive as well as verifying the startup volume. Normally I just cancel out of both of these um, options because it takes anywhere from three to six minutes depending on the speed of your system. And when you first open it up and get past your administrator password it's going to display a help file saying uh, you should always back up your data. Um, there are chances where Onyx might freeze your system, but it's not going to destroy it. And Onyx doesn't do things such as remove personal data. And as you can see by looking at it, Onyx is a very simple user interface. It's a simple metallic bar going across the screen with some tabs where you can do things such as verify your hard drives, perform basic maintenance tasks, uh, clean kernel and disk caches, change uh, finder options such as uh, deleting or securely deleting trash. But I find that uh, the most function and utility for this program comes from using the automation and parameters tabs. Clicking on automation, you see that we have uh, checkboxes to repair and execute maintenance scripts. And maintenance scripts normally have to be done from the command line and entering your administrator password from the terminal window. Here you just execute or check off one box and it does it all for you. You can do things such as rebuild launch services and the folder content displays. You can also uh, free up some disk space and maybe optimize or speed up your system by deleting the system and user caches, logs and crash reporters, temporary items, and recent items. So basically, anything that's up here in the Apple menu. Now, when you go to execute these maintenance scripts, um, once again, I think uh, it might ask you for your password, and after that, your system's going to reboot. On the initial reboot, after running the scripts, um, you'll notice that it's going to take a little maybe a minute or two for OS X to uh, start back up again. And the reason why is because the system has to rebuild all the caches you just wiped out. But after that, your system's going to boot up again in uh, just the same amount of time that you're used to. Clicking on the Parameters tab, this is uh, allows you to change a lot of settings, uh, hidden settings uh, in OS X, things that you would have to either just run some kind of a script or go into the terminal. But here you can it pre presents a graphical front end to all those utilities. Arrows in the scroll bar for instance is allow allows you to put arrows in both the top and bottom of every finder window as well as uh, web browser windows. The only bug I found in using the, the arrows in both the top and the bottom is sometimes certain dialog boxes and web forms aren't big enough and just don't have enough space so what will happen is that uh, just the uh, arrow bars are going to be truncated when you're using certain dialog and web forms but you can get around that by either using the scroll, you, scroll wheel or scrolling with your trackpad. You can also change the uh, display style for the crash reporter. You can do things such as change your image format when you do uh, screen captures you can change it from a bitmap, tip, um, JPEGs, as well as the safe path. Normally, uh, doing a screen capture just throws it right out there on the desktop. You can change the path for that. 
You can animate your desktop background, enable or disable disk journaling, and install the processor preference pane, which allows you to activate or deactivate the uh, total number of cores or processors in your system. In the finer section, you can do things such as animate snap to grid, animate window zooming. Um, also, you can show hidden files and folders. But one useful item is to show the title path in the or the path in every window. And just as an example here, um, if you're working with multiple volumes, such as an external hard drive and a thumb drive at the same time. So for instance, um, if you're working in a folder on different volumes with the same name, by default, OS X <coughs> hides the path from you. Here, you can do it kind of like Windows Explorer and show the path and see exactly where you are. So as you can see, in this window, I'm working on my Moz config on my thumb drive. And here, I'm using uh, my Moz config and my hard drive. So it's useful if you're dealing with uh, multiple folders with the same name across different volumes or partitions, this becomes really useful. And also you can do things such as um, change the uh, the background of the menu bar, uh, show different items in the in the finer options or in the finer menu. And with the dock here, it's really simple to change between 2D and a 3D dock. Normally I just keep it 3D. I got used to that. And another useful item is that when you hide applications, uh, you can use transparent icons for hidden applications. So as you can see, I've hidden every other application and it gives you a more uh, visual indicator as to which, uh, which applications are hidden in the background. Um, on top of that, if you go into, uh, say, the Safari menu, here you can enable the, de the uh, developer menu option. This allows you to do things such as spoof your uh, Safari uh, user agent. So some websites will force you to use Internet Explorer or Firefox. But if you enable the developer menu, you can spoof the uh, web agent and you can trick certain websites into dis displaying the web page. You can also do things such as uh, change uh, login window options. So you can display a custom uh, text message on the uh, login box if you set up your Mac to uh, to use the login window at each boot up. And you can also do things such as hiding the sleep and start buttons in the login window. You can do things such as uh, showing a list of users or not showing that list. And here in Onyx you have the option to start up in normal mode, safe mode, verbals mode, or single user mode on every startup. And if you like to see what's going on on every startup, you can just set up to verbose mode. And every time you start up the system, you can see exactly what's going on. So that's just a brief overview of uh, the general purpose utility for Onyx. And once again, it is free software, very powerful utility. And I find that um, it does the job just as well as maybe some paid versions of programs, such as a uh, cocktail or uh, whatever else may be available on OS X. So, brief overview, and um, yeah, that's about it. Peace.